All right, I think I got this thing all set up now. It's really loaded. I've got like a, I don't know, camera gear, my uh, s spare tire in there, and uh, gear I need if I get a flat tire, tools, not much. Um, something to eat, water bottle. Keeping my batteries in there. There's my camera set up with the gimbal. Finally got that set up right. Mirrors, front sack with some batteries in there, and my wallet, and a, um, my phone, and then my backpack that I'm gonna put on, and my helmet. Yeah, I'm packing some weight, but I'm gonna go have some fun. Yeah. Oh, I'm keeping this camera that I film with right in here. It's really convenient. I can just pull it right out. All right, we're gonna head into the park. Here at Mach 5. Yesterday we were over that way, the other side of the river, checking out this side of the river. We're down here at the end of the uh, end of the walk, as far as this way goes. We just had some lunch in this beautiful spot down by the river. I want to find out about camping. Hoping to run into the lock master here. He's somewhere about. All right, guys. Absolutely good news here on the riverfront, on the canalway. This is part of the Empire uh, Canalway or the Erie Canalway. Part of the Champlain Canalway Water Trail. And uh, any one of those I think I just mentioned. What I found out is you can camp here. If you came by bike, if you're walking, or if you came by boat, you're more than welcome to camp anywhere you want around here. either side I'm gonna go back over to the other side and check that out again knowing that I can do that now This is like a sports field here. Actually, it's a park. 
and they just popped down this hill here and I didn't really know that this area existed over in here so sometimes easier to explore on your bike you know you can go just the right speed pretty hot nobody's around all the kids are home playing games on their computers across the bridge there is uh, the basin where we have a lot of fun good place to go for drinks and food It's done some more trailways here in town. There's beautiful paths and trails, bike trails, walkways, everywhere. Got lots of access to all kinds of great things, great walks. That's a Bound by Fate in front of us there. It's a brewery. It's quiet there as well. So uh, yeah, we stopped at stopped at Stewart's and got a nice summertime thirst quencher, which we're gonna now pull into the park and enjoy. I think we'll just call this home for the next little bit here. That's the Codwell Bell, the one we see going by all the time. That's where she docks. But what about this spot right down by the river? A little garbage there. It's too bad. But other than that, it's a great spot. I actually, I've been here before with my parents for a picnic. Yeah, bike life, man, I like it. I definitely like it, this is cool. Lots of adventure this way and good exercise.
before I, as I sit out here and do my morning chores, one of the things I'm doing, I do this weekly or every other week, probably every other week, I really only need to do it. Anyway, I have these mats. I've talked about them before. They are in the RV, and these are a lifesaver as far as keeping your RV clean. Do they look great? No. You probably could get some better looking ones, or maybe you don't even want to do this. But I have tile floors, and uh, it's easy, especially this time of year, or actually any time of year, to get dirt in there. But these collect all of the dirt. You don't really get any dirt on your floor because of these mats. I have three of them in my 21 feet of space, that's lengthwise, and uh, they do the job, so if you're looking to cut back on dirt on the floor, grab yourself a couple car mats, they are perfect.